Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram pictures and also kind of like what's on my iPhone. This has been um, my most requested video, so I decided to film it for you guys and I thought it would be interesting because I get a lot of questions on how I um, edit my pictures, so yeah, we'll just show you right now. So on the first page of my iPhone, I just have a camera, music, photo, Safari, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Tumblr, 8-Tracks, YouTube, Uber, Dropbox, Mail, uh, Gmail, Weather, and then I have my photography folder. And these are my like most used apps um, on a daily basis. Also, I have text and phone on the bottom. I like to keep a space here. I don't know why. I think one of my friends used to do that and I just started it because I thought it looked cool. As you can see, my iPhone's pretty boring. On this side, I have newsstand, which um, I never use. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> then I just have a thing here called Real Apps, which the only thing I use in here is my settings feature and the Google Maps. And then I have my utilities, which the only thing I use, again, um, is the clock to set my alarms and stuff. Then I have social, which I don't use, so I should probably delete that stuff. <laughs> then games here, um, I have Plants vs. Zombies 2, Sudoku, Solitaire, Flow Free, <laughs> which I used to be obsessed with. Then I have Candy Crush, Blocks, um, Minion Run, <laughs> Subway Surf, and Mega Run. So the only things I really use are Candy Crush because I just really like it. And I use, what do I use now? Subway Surf sometimes and Sudoku. The other ones I don't really use much. Oh, by the way, I just have this picture of a wolf as my background because I just thought it was really cool and I love wolves. And then random is random, I just don't use it. For my Instagram, I get so many questions how I edit my pictures. So this is my Instagram, you can follow me. It's just at Alex Santomo. It's just simple. Um, I have all my pictures like this. Lately I've been doing a lot of Tumblr style pictures. Oh, this is Karina, you can go follow her too. Her thing is Karina underscore underscore V. Um, I don't know, I just, I've been really into like Tumblr lately and um, I've, been, bleh, I've been getting inspired by a lot of the pictures taken there. So as you can see, I have like my American Horror Story coven picture, which is like the classic Tumblr picture. <laughs> I have a lot of my brandy pictures are on here. Um, oh, here's another like Tumblr one. I got my mom to do this on my hair because <laughs> I couldn't do a uh, fishtail braid from the back, so I had to ask her to do it. <laughs> that was weird. And then, oh, and this is Catherine if you want to follow her. It's Kath underscore Bell. It's actually Cat Bell, but there's an H, so if you want to follow her. And then that's my sister, Kyla Sintomo. Um, what's Tumblr? Oh, yeah, this. Um, this actually got a lot of hype on Tumblr. It got so many reblogs and stuff, and um, I just really liked it. My mom again took this picture. It was pretty funny. Huh? These stockings are from Urban Outfitters, and so is my sweater, and I just thought it was really cool. It reminded me of like a ballerina, and I just really liked it. And then this picture here is super famous on Tumblr. Um, there's like 50,000 reblogs or whatever, and it's a little frustrating because a lot of celebrities are taking this picture and posting it and pretending it's them. Like Ashley Tisdale posted this on her official, um, no, official Facebook page and pretended it was her. <laughs> and it's funny because since I don't have any like watermarks or anything, anyone could just take this and post it as them. But I swear this is me. That's my living room. Um, my boyfriend took this picture and it sucks because you don't see my face. But for proof, here look, I took this picture yesterday. And it's in the same exact spot, so yeah, that's that. Okay, now how I edit my pictures, I'll just go into this photography app. Um, so my most used apps for Instagram um, editing pictures and stuff is Pixlr Express Plus, Afterlight, Square Ready, VSCO Cam, Characters, PicFrame, Facetune, Snapseed, and Lumi. Um, the ones I use most are probably Pixlr Express Plus and VSCO Cam and then Square Ready. I'll use Afterlight once in a while, but not as much. So normally how I start, it's always different for every picture, but like, let's just see, okay. So I'll go just go into my pictures. Here, I'll just grab, where is it? Where's the one I edited? Um, here, okay. So this is the picture that I uh, posted on my uh, Instagram just yesterday. So the first thing I'll do is sometimes if I want I'll like crop it into a square first just to see how it would fit on Instagram. 
But see this one, I don't really like how my body's kind of like half hidden when I put it into a square, so I just won't do that. The thing I'll normally do first is I'll go into here, contrast, and the first thing I'll do is probably like brightness, and I'll brighten it up just a little bit, not too much, usually around like two or one or three. And then I'll go into contrast and I'll go up a little bit, brightness. I kind of just play around with it until it's like something that I kind of like. So I'll just keep it at that. And then I'll save that. Um, sometimes I'll go in and sharpen it a little bit, but this is just kind of like what I do first. And then sometimes I'll go into filters. And what I like about um, this is that you can take filters, like let's say this one is probably my most used for winter. And then you go into here and you can like adjust how much filter you want. So like, see that? I don't like. But if I were to bring it down, I kind of like that because it kind of gives it a bit of like color and something a bit different. So that I'll save. And another feature on Pixel Express that I really like too, I haven't used it in a while, but they have these like, I don't know, light effects. So here you can post that there and then you can switch sides, you can put it upside down or the right side. And then again, you can adjust how much you want shown. So I really like that. Um, we use this a lot in the summer to edit pictures. But for this I think I'm just gonna keep it simple and like that. So then I'll save it. So once that's saved, I'll go into VSCO Cam. And then I'll pull up the picture. See, these are all like the previous pictures I've edited before. I'll pull up the picture. <laughs> these are pictures of me from when I was a kid. Sometimes it say the file won't fit, but just press the question, uh, the check mark, and it'll be fine. Then I'll go into edit, and um, they show you filters at first, but I actually like to use this feature, which is like the exposure. I'll make it brighter. You can kind of adjust that, and then if you want, I like to use faded sometimes, which makes it like that really like faded grainy kind of look, which is pretty popular on Instagram and Tumblr. I know a lot of famous YouTubers use this feature. Sometimes if it's like too faded, I'll go into contrast and make it a bit darker or I'll go the opposite way and make it even more faded. Let's just say that. And then normally I'll keep this how it is and save it, but for the sake of this video, I'll show you how you can use the filters. So like, let's say I want to make it black and white. I can choose this. There's a bunch of different options. And then you can also kind of change the filter around and see if you like something different. Um, so this, like, I don't really want that, so let's put that down. My most used ones are normally uh, T1 and I think G3 or C1, but I, I rarely use this, only for like certain style pictures. Like this one I really like, T1, I think it's really nice. Putting that down a little bit, make it pretty artsy and stuff. And then I'll just save that. Save. Save to camera roll. And then sometimes I'll go into Afterlight, and the only things I really use on Afterlight, I like will adjust the clarity. So if you want it to be more sharp, or you can bring it down, put it higher, whatever. Um, sometimes I'll use like contrast or whatever, but I mean I already use that, so I don't need to use it for now. And then for the filters, I really like coral. And especially for like pictures that I have, have a very white background, I think it's really nice. And I just really like it. And then another cool feature about Afterlight is that I think it's an extra like 99 cents or whatever, but you can actually put your picture into like a Polaroid. So here, it'll kind of look like that. And, or you could do it this way. I don't know, there's a bunch of different ways you could do it and I really like it. So that's another feature that is cool about this. Once that picture is saved, I will go into Square Ready, which makes the white borders on photos so that you can put it on Instagram and not have like, you can put the, the full picture, see so here I'll show you. So I'll take that one, and see that's okay, like if you want to keep it with a square, that's fine, I mean that looks really good, but I really like it when it shows more, so that will just make, create bigger white borders, but what's good about uh, Pixlr is that you can actually move the picture around to how you want it, so like let's say I find the borders too big, I can actually just pull it in, and I'll still have white borders, but they won't be as big on the top and bottom so that it won't look too, I don't explain it, like wide or small of a picture that you can see more detail without it being too cropped. Or you can do like the whole Kendall Kylie Jenner thing and make it like a white border all around and then have your picture in the center. Um, there are some YouTubers that like to do that as well. And then to save it, I will just go up here, camera roll, 
And I usually do JPEG 2448 times 2448. I don't know why. Um, someone showed me that and I just started doing that from then on. Um, with other apps, characters is a really good one. Um, I get a lot of questions on how I do my symbols. So this one allows you to have like a symbol like this with the moon and the star. It allows you to do like those open hearts. You can do a bunch of different symbols that with this. I really, really like it. Um, and yeah, sometimes I'll just like do flowers or whatever and a bunch of different things. It's really fun. Pick frame is just to make um, like collages or whatever, but sometimes I like to like put two pictures side by side and then you can like mirror them and stuff, but I haven't actually used this in a long time. Then Facetune, um, this one's cool if you want to get rid of zits. <laughs> so here, we'll just, here, try a sample photo. So this person, I don't know who this is, but all you have to do is click smooth and you just kind of smooth over the face. And I mean, if you really smooth it a lot, you'll kind of look like a china doll, but you can really like get rid of any like wrinkles, harsh lines, pimples. It just smooths everything out and makes it look really pretty. Um, don't know who you are, but nice face. Snapseed's a really good one because I have a lot of pictures that I take against a white wall, but because of shadows, sometimes one side of the wall will be darker than the other. So here as an example, I'll just pull up a picture really quickly. Okay, so let's just say this. This is Karina, by the way. Um, so I'll do use, and then, well, of course this one's not that obvious, but this side is like way brighter in person than on this side. So what I like to do is then I'll just, wow, it's showing so overexposed in this video. I promise you it's not like that in person. You just click this little button, you add your little marks, and once you go across the screen, you can brighten one side, and then add like another, so you can make them even on both sides and then you can adjust like how big you want it. You can go this way or you can darken it and go like that. You can move them around and stuff. So I just thought that was really, really um, convenient for someone who does like using white backgrounds. And then Lumi just creates those really pretty things in the background. So like the little like watermarks and stuff. Um, this obviously switched my picture, but you would want to put something of a square. You can like rotate it and adjust the exposure and stuff. There's a bunch of things you can do. I thought it was really pretty. And then the next page, honestly, like I rarely use these apps, so like I don't really think I'm gonna explain them because some of them I just downloaded it to see it as like a trial and then I never use them and I should probably delete them. I'll never use the Instagram filters just because I really like editing myself and it's always different each time. Like I'll play around with a bunch of different things and like get what I like. And then another cool one actually I forgot to show you guys is Pic Collage. A lot, a lot of YouTubers use this one. So here, this you can just make it Let's change background. So let's have like a simple white background. And so here you could just tap on the thing, add photo, and you can like create collages. You could post little pictures, you could post quotes and do a bunch of different things, switch it around, make a bunch of different things. And sometimes I'll use this. It's really fun actually to make something artsy and I'll post this once in a while, but for the most part, I'll just kind of do the ones I showed you and then I'll post it to my Instagram. And yeah, that's how I edit them normally. I'll just use my camera. It's a Canon T5i, that's about it. So if you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's Alex and Tomo. Sorry if this is kind of like out of focus and a bit shaky, it's really hard to film this. Um, but I hope you guys are having an awesome day. If you want more detail or have more questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!